today I am doing my makeup storage and collection video. Finally, I know. Woohoo! It's been well over a year since I did my last one. If you guys want to check out my last one, you can click the link in the down bar. I'll have it linked down below there. So let me get the quintessential disclaimer out of the way. I am not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form. I know my makeup collection is disgustingly huge. My friends tell me on a daily basis. It's a problem. Send me to makeup rehab. Please. Actually don't, because I really like me. It's obviously not the biggest collection there is on YouTube. Some people should be on order for this stuff. And it's obviously not the smallest collection on YouTube. I, I have accumulated stuff. I've been doing beauty videos for almost three years now, so I buy and receive a lot of product, and I'm really thankful and really lucky. I'm a very strong advocate of using your makeup collection and not just buying things because they're pretty packaging or things like that. So I am very good about using everything that I have. I rotate things out. I'm not that girl who does her makeup the exact same every day. I play with things and all that kind of stuff. And if you have any more questions, I'll have frequently asked questions written down in the info bar because I know a lot of people stumble across these videos without being subscribed to my channel. So if you do want to subscribe to my channel after you watch this video, definitely make sure to do so. We would love to have you part of the Rosette family. But if you want to hear me stop talking, and you're gonna be the one who comments down being like real video starts at a minute 30. I'm done now so continue on to keep watching. So this is my desk and this is where I keep some of my makeup but obviously not all of it. This is basically just what I keep that I use on an everyday basis and things that I like having close by me. First, I keep this little benefit train case that I got when I went to San Francisco with them, and there's nothing in it. I just think it's really cute. I also have this little benefit little lady, which is really cute we got in San Francisco too. And then the other side of my desk, I've just got brushes. All of my brushes are from Sigma. I'm obsessed with Sigma brushes. They're my absolute crack. Uh, and I really love this container, and it used to fit all of my brushes, and then my brush collection grew exponentially, and I ended up storing them in the, like, containers that the Sigma brushes came in, so. Then I've got my makeup mirror. This is by Conair, and it just turns on, which is great. And then we come over here. So you guys may recognize this little drawer from my previous makeup collection video. I used to store all of my makeup in tons of different ones of these clear drawers. I've then used the clear drawers for storage for other things, but I like having one on my desk at all times where I do my makeup just to put out new products. And when I buy new products, I don't wanna get buried and lost in my makeup collection and then I never try it out. I wanna make sure that I'm using like all of my new stuff and trying that out. And then I can go back and like play with my old stuff, but I wanted to make sure my shiny new toys get to be seen. So I've got this little, file organizer, which I think I got at the container store, and in here I just keep my more recent palettes or palettes I've decided that I wanted to pull out. So I recently got a lot of NYX stuff, so I have the NYX Smoky Eye palette, the NYX Love in Florence palette, and the NYX Love in Paris palette. And then behind that I have more palettes that I've really been liking, which is the Peak and Pika Bright Eyes by Benefit, the Naked Basics, which was always a favorite, and then one of the BH City palettes, which is San Francisco. So I keep these on here just in hopes, and it's true, that I do use them a lot more often. And then I've got my like daily three things I would die without. The first is my Ultra Repair Cream. This is just my moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. I use it all the time. My makeup setting spray by Scandinavia. And then this is the Saint Tropez Face Self Tanner, which I absolutely love, especially for the warmer months. Then up here, I've got a whole bunch of Bare Minerals eyeshadow duos. Again, these I just got, and so I've got one Vision, so there's some blue ones. Most of these are pretty darn neutral, but these are just a bunch of duos that I really like, and so I wanted to keep them out so I can try out all of them. And now on to my very dirty drawer set. These have three drawers. Again, they're from the container store. I think it's about $12 each for a set of three, and let's get into it. So in here's where I kind of keep my more face products. So it kind of goes in order. So like the things I use first, things I use second, things I use last, stuff like that. So in here, I've got a Cleaning Clear Advantage Oil Absorbing Treatment. So if my skin's feeling really oily, I use this before I put my makeup on. I've got uh, my primer, Professional by Benefit. I've got a couple of other mini primers I'm wanting to try out. And I've got the Bare Minerals Well Rested Highlighter. Two beauty blenders, one that's extremely dirty, one that's not as dirty. And then a little eye cream. So this is basically just like my first 
the stuff that I put on first on my face. And then the second drawer. Then the second drawer is really chock full of everything important. Um, again, I like just stuffing things in here that are new to me that I really want to try out. So uh, these are the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminators. I have both of the colors. I've got my fa favorite foundation of all time right now, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's amazing. I've got my favorite concealers, which are the ones I'm using right now, Makeup Forever Full Cover and the little Yabby Concealer from my Ipsy bag. And then I've got some bronzers and illuminators. These ones are from NYX. Just really pretty, like, illuminating bronzers and blushes. I've got a couple more NYX blushes. I've got a NYX stick blush in Magnolia, which matches my nails. <laughs> Another NYX blush in here, and this one is in Rose Garden, which is a really pretty pink. NYX Rouge Cream Blush in Glow. And then I've got a Bare Minerals blush in French Kiss. And this one is super, super pretty too. And then I've got the classic NARS Laguna bronzer. Obviously, everybody knows about this. This is like the fang of the fangs. My Bare Minerals powder foundation, which I'm just obsessed with. It's my favorite powder to set my makeup with. And then down in the bottom here is the last of the stuff. So I've got my favorite eyeshadow base ever, which is Soft Ochre Paint Bot by MAC. I've got a MAC Tender Tone, which is just like a lip conditioner that I use basically before I put on any of my makeup, so it soaks in then afterwards. I've got some Sigma tweezers and some mascaras and eyeliners. Got a eyeliner sharpener, my Tweezer Man Rose Gold Eyelash Curler, little Benefit Brow Kit, and then just some Anastasia Brow Setting Gel, another mini mascara, and the mascara I've been using right now is this Pop Beauty one, as well as Maybelline the Falsies. So then I've got eyeliners. I've got a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, which is a white one. I've got a black liquid liner from Revlon and some NYX uh, plain pencil liners. I've got like a copper one, a blue one, and a brown one. Just, I think, are fun summer colors and are really easy when I'm just touching up my makeup. Yeah, so that is everything that is on my desk makeup-wise. So let's get on into my big honkin' makeup collection. <laughs> So this is where I keep my makeup. These are the Alexa drawers from Ikea. And I got this idea from Amerique's and Allison in person was like, no, you actually really need to buy these. So I went ahead and got them and I'm obsessed. I did set it up all by myself, which I was really proud of. It's actually decently difficult, but I mean, I, I am a natural blonde, so if I could do it, anyone can. So let's dive into it. So up top here is where I keep my perfumes. This little tray is just from Michaels. It's just like a silver tray with these beads on it. And I've got a ton of perfumes up on here if you guys want to see a collection of that. I have the perfumes and body sprays, just let me know. So I just keep this all in here because this doesn't open. This is like a top hard part. So let's get on into the drawers. So in this first drawer is where I keep primers, powders, concealers, and then foundations. So I got these little three drawer container things. These are from Target. And so in here I've just got all the primers. So I've got some Tarte ones, some Too Faced, and underneath all the Tarte and Too Faced, I've got some Urban Decay. Some Benefit, NARS, Victoria's Secret. So this is all face primers and eye primers. And then on to powders, I've got a Milani powder, Revlon, some Bare Minerals, NYX HD, Benefit Health Flawless Powder, another Bare Minerals, and a Clinique Redness Reducing Powder. I don't actually have that many powders just because I feel like they all basically do the same thing. And then on to concealers. Concealers are where I tend to hoard. <laughs> I've got Lemonade by Benefit, a ton of MAC ones, MAC Pro Longwear, some more Tarte uh, Benefit. I've got this green one from NYX, which helps reduce redness. I've got more MAC, more Tarte, and some Wet Wild Physicians Formula. And I've got like a little concealer palette by Benefit as well. Again, a lot of concealers. <laughs> so now onto my foundations. These are just in the difference of the barrier. So here's where the plastic is. This isn't any plastic in here. This is just like filling up the rest of the space. These are all of the foundations that I actually enjoy. If I don't like a foundation, I am going to return it or I'm going to give it to a friend or throw it out. So these are ones I actually do still really enjoy. So I've got a lot of the Benefit Hello Flawless, one of my favorite foundations. Some Tarte ones, I love this one. I've got this in a couple other colors. 
I've got Revlon Color Stay, Neutrogena, Revlon Photo Ready, some Clinique ones, and lots of fun stuff like that. And then I just have this Dr. Feel Good powder from Benefit. That's like a pore reducing, and I couldn't fit in here. And then I've got a couple backups of Pore Professional, which is my favorite face primer. So that is everything I have in here, and there's a couple more backups of primers and foundations in the back there. So now on to drawer number two, which is my favorite blushes, and this is where I go absolutely and completely ham. I've got two plastic containers, again, these both from Target. These ones are just like big containers. And here I've got all of my MAC blushes. All up in here I've got a couple of MAC beauty powders, but I MAC blushes I'd have to say probably are some of my favorites. They're squeezed in pretty tightly here, but I've got some limited edition ones. Uh, really pretty pinks and purples, oranges all of my favorites and I've got some cream colored bases by MAC this is another hot pink one and then over here I keep like the cream stick blushes this is a fine one one by Benefit it's like a coral with a bronzer and then a highlighter I've got a couple of mini NARS blushes a mini glossy box blush a dream smooth mousse blush one from Urban Decay and then on this side I've got all of my NARS blushes and I've got like four or five and then another little mini one. So these fit basically perfect. And then onto my Tarte blushes. These are some of my absolute favorites. I think I own almost every single one of these are their 12 hour clay ones. They're so absolutely beautiful. They last forever on the skin and I love them. I've got a mini one of those. I've got a Stila blush. This is a little Napoleon Curtis blush duo. I've got a ton of NYX blushes just around. These are so nice for the price. So many cute colors. I love the NYX ones. And then I also really like the NYX uh, cream blushes. So those are here. I've got one of my favorite cream uh, lip and cheek products from MAC. That was from such a long time ago. And then I've got a ton of Benefit box powders. We've got Hervana, Dandelion, Coral Sugar Bomb, Coralista, uh, da, 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 whatever that one's called, Bella Bomba, and then I've got one from the Balm that's called a Frat Boy. And then on this side, I've got all of my e.l.f. blushes. I think, again, I almost own every single one. They're basically like a dollar, so I really like these. They have really nice pigmentation for what they are. And I've got some more over here. This is a Wet n Wild blush in pearlescent pink, one of my absolute favorite blushes of all time. Another one of my favorite blushes, the Second Love blush, and this is in uh, Sunshine, and it's so pretty. And back here, I keep all of my mini Benetint and Posy Tint, and then I've got Benetint, Posy Tint, and Coral Tint, Orange Tint, what's it called? Cha-Cha Tint, and <laughs> that's right there. And then I've got backups of those tints because I wear those all the time. Then this third drawer is where I keep all of my sample products, which are pretty ratchetly stored back in that corner because I didn't have any other room. And in this little container, again, this one's from Target, these are my cream highlighters. I've got Girl Meets Pearl, I've got some Tarte ones, Sunbeam High Bean and What's Up, and then a little mini High Bean from Benefit. And then I've got my powder highlighters and then two kind of more bronzers that are on the glowy side that also overflowed from my bronzer drawer. So I've got a Physicians Formula highlighter, a little e.l.f. one, and a Tarte one. So I really don't have that many powder highlighters. And then another little Tarte mini bronzer and a NYX cream bronzer that is very glowy so it looks more like a highlighter to me. And then on to bronzers. Back here I've got another Tarte bronzer. This is the full size. I love, love, love this bronzer. I've got the e.l.f. blush and bronzer duo, a Physicians Formula powder bronzer, one of my favorite Stila bronzers, the ever so popular NYC Sunny, Hula and Dallas from Benefit, and then this NYX cream bronzer which is super sparkly. And these are all my MAC mineralized skin finishes and cream color bases that are more highlighting. So I love these. I actually think all of these are limited edition. I always end up buying the limited edition ones. I've never bought like soft and dental or anything like that. So I've got cream color bases and pearls, some really pretty ones from the Semi Precious Stones collection. And I think this one's blonde, right? Yes, I love this. This is one in blonde. It's gorgeous. I love mineralized skin finishes. They're just so pretty, like the perfect highlighters for the skin. So those are my highlighters and bronzers. So now on to my 
eyeliners and this is where it gets absolutely crazy so this is organized in a kind of not so organized fashion so I have empty like little boxes that I've had just over the years or collected from like shoe boxes or packages and that's what I've used to kind of separate these things in a somewhat organized way so yeah just over here I've got all of my uh, NYX jumbo eye pencils I have all of the neutral colors and I love these for bases they're super pretty and then I also have the benefit gilded pencil and then oh where'd the cap go for you we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen then I've got all my gel liners I've got three by Mac one by Bobbi Brown and one by Smashbox I'm not a huge gel eyeliner person I don't know why but it's not my favorite kind of eyeliner and then we are on to basically my favorite section and that is cream shadows or eyeshadow bases I love these I've got a ton of the Maybelline color tattoos I think they're so pretty I've got the Tarte cream shadows this one is taupe one is gorgeous and a ton of Mac paint pots again some of my favorite things ever and this one color makeup forever and I've got a little Estee Lauder one they're just all so pretty and I'm obsessed and addicted with cream shadows and then I've got a couple of Sigma brow products that I've just stuck over here so I've got a couple brow duos, brow gels, and things like that. Then over here onto pencil eyeliners. I have way too many pencil eyeliners, it's insane. Uh, I've got some Rimmel, Stila, Urban Decay, Makeup Forever, some more Stila, really like those eyeliners, and tons and just tons and tons and tons. NYX, absolutely adore NYX's eyeliners and some Rimmel, and then over here I've got my Wet n Wild ones because they're super long and they don't fit in the other spot. Refrain your dirty jokes. And over here I've got my liquid eyeliners. I've got a couple NYX ones, a Mary Kay one, Milani, MAC, um, Maybelline, just okay. And now we are onto my Sigma eyeshadow bases. I've got all of the Sigma eyeshadow bases. They're so incredibly gorgeous. I'm obsessed with them. Persuade is one that I use like on a daily basis. They're super pretty. And then back here is where I have all of my Benefit Creaseless Cream Shadows that are in their new packaging that are so pretty. I'm obsessed with these. One of my favorite ones is this gold one and the purple and birthday suit. So these ones have the cutest packaging ever. So I love these. So I keep my Benefit Cream Shadows and then I keep an extra of highbrow back here just because I can still see the product and doesn't cover it and I have nowhere else to put it. So then in this drawer is all of my single eyeshadows or eyeshadows. They're not in palettes or depotted. I've got all of my Benefit ones that are in their new packaging, some Sigma eyeshadows. I've got a lot of MAC limited edition ones, some that are like mineralized, uh, extra dimension, a couple of the extra dimension ones, a lot of limited edition ones, a couple ones that have cute packaging so I haven't depotted or I'm too lazy to depot. And then I've got a couple of these L'Oreal infallible, what are these called? Sigma eyeshadows, the Sigma brow palette. I've got a lot of Rockin' Republic eyeshadows, which used to be on Hope Look all the time, which are super nice. And I've got some NYX ones too, which I really like. So this is just where I have all my singles. These are also really nice for travel, so I'll keep things like highlighters or just really easy shades if I only need two or three. So next in this drawer, is pretty eclectic. It's where I keep my mascaras, my Urban Decay palettes, my Benefit palettes, and then all of my smaller like quads or things that are like perfect for travel, like duos and quads and trios and things like that. So I keep a little eyelash glue right here and then I've got a ton of different mascaras. Most of these actually are unopened, but they are all out of their packaging. So I've got some Tarte ones, a ton, as you can see by the back of Stu, a ton, ton, ton of the benefits. They're real. It's my absolute favorite mascara. I've got NYX Doll Eyes Pacifica Mascara, some NYC ones. I really love the NYC ones. And then just a ton of drugstore mas mascaras because I'm a huge fan of drugstore mascara if I run out, but I don't think I'll be running out for a while because these are pretty amazing. <laughs> Benefit little travel palettes. These are the World Famous Neutrals and then the World Famous Neutrals. Again, two different kinds of the palettes. I've got Benefit Brows of Go Go, Benefit uh, Big Beautiful Eyes, Benefit Smoking Eyes, a whole bunch of Wet n Wild trios and quads and palettes here. So these go all the way down. And then I've got a couple of the Maybelline ones from, I think these are from Fashion Week, something like that. A couple of NARS duos, and underneath all of this I've got a big thing of eyelashes that I got from Amazon. It's got more like quads and duos stuck in here. So the NYX Natural Palette, a Revlon Quad, a MAC 
Squad, Napoleon Purtis, some Cover Girl. These ones are just really easy to travel with. And then back here, I've got a couple of more travel-oriented palettes. So I've got the Urban Decay Anniversary palette, which is beautiful if you have not seen it. Oh, gorgeous. I've got uh, Urban Decay Book of Shadows, and then I've got a big Tarte thing that was a QVC exclusive. Little one from Urban Decay, which is one of my favorites. And then back here, I've got a couple of travel palettes. So this is the Jet Setter one from Benefit, and this is like the Pamper Prim Primping with the Stars one. So these have minis of like the foundation and concealer that I use, so these are really nice to bring for travel. And they're just really cute because they're like little books. So I've got more palettes. I've got my Sigma Bear palette. Sigma Brow one and the Sigma Paris palette. My Lorac or Lorac Pro palette, which you guys know is my absolute favorite right now. So pretty, I love it. I've got the BH Day and Night palette, the BH 120 color palette, and I've got a couple of more uh, neutral ones from Coastal Scents and BH. I've got some sleek eyeshadow palettes, which I am obsessed with because we don't have them in the US at our drugstore, so you can buy them in the UK. I've got a couple of NYX palettes. This is the Hot, Hot Jersey palette from NYX. And then I've got the NYX Be Fierce and Be Free palettes. And then over in this corner, I've got the Urban Decay Naked 1 and Naked 2. And then I've got my Inglot palette that I made myself with all the shadows in it. I've got the Balms Nude Tude palette. And then I've got three MAC palettes, two eyeshadow palettes. So there's two neutrals and a blush palette. Here are my MAC palettes. This one's my neutral palette, and this is more of my like colored end of the spectrum. And then I've got my blush palette. So in this drawer is where I keep lip products. So this is a little unorganized, probably to most people's eye, but completely organized in my, in my eyes and how I work. So this corner I've got lip liners. Lip liners from MAC and um, NYX. I love the NYX lip liners. They're super pretty. And then that gravitates towards, towards stains and jumbo lip pencils. So I've got some NYX jumbo lip pencils a Stila Stain, a ton of the Tarte Lip Surgences, some of the Revlon Just Bitten, and then onto the Buxom Lip Pencils. And then, kind of just like, kind of loose basically hanging here, are more like lip glossy stains that I have from the drugstore. I've got Wet n Wild's Mega Last, L'Oreal Infallible 8 Hour Gloss. I've got a couple of whatever these things were, these gold things, I don't even like those. And then another L'Oreal lip stain and then over in here I've got and in between here I've got three NYX extreme lip creams so now on to my lipsticks I have gotten these lipstick containers at various places I have bought them at the container store before I've gotten them off of eBay before I've seen them even at like Rite Aid and stuff but I think that Amazon sells them for a pretty decent price and that's where I get like all of my lipstick holders and so these aren't really organized by anything except for brand. I've got a couple NYX ones, some Went Wild, a CoverGirl Revlon, some Rimmel and more Revlon and then I've got some CoverGirl over here, so I've got some more Rimmel. Then I've got some of the Tarte Glamazonian lipstick. These are amazing. I have a ton of the Revlon lip butters because I'm obsessed and then some more of the Maybelline Color Whispers, the Maybelline Vivids line. I've got some tinted lip balms here, some Pacifica ones and some baby lips which you know are the bane of my existence. And then I've got a lot of MAC lipsticks in the back. I'm obsessed with MAC lipsticks. I think they're amazing. And then in the middle, I've kind of more of like an eclectic thing. I've got a couple NYX ones, Bobbi Brown, Too Faced, YSL, and NARS. So that's all my lip products. And I keep them all upside down in case you're wondering, just to have the names or at least the colors. And it won't be upside down if I can like see the color like that. But it's nice to be able to see the name to see what I'm grabbing for, especially when it comes to like MAC lipsticks because they all are in the same black packaging. And the final drawer is lip gloss, which is hilarious because it, I think even if you watch my last what's in my makeup collection video, you would be able to see that I hated lip gloss and I used to absolutely hate lip gloss, which obviously as we can see now is not the case. So again, these are organized just in little like tops of shoe boxes or little containers that I had collected over the past couple months and yeah, let's dive in. So in this corner, I've got lip butters. I've got a couple of sleek ones, Cora's ones, and 
and then a couple of these new Pacifica ones which have the cutest packaging ever. So these are all of my like lip butters and then I go on to lip glosses. So here I've got MAC glosses and then I've got a NARS one that snuck in here as well as my mini Benefit ones. I'm obsessed with the Benefit ones and I had a whole mini set from Christmas a couple, a little while back and the mini ones are so nice to fit in my purse and then I've got a full size of this one because I'm addicted to this and this is Life on the A-List. It's like my absolute all-time favorite lip gloss in the world and I'm obsessed. And then I've got Buxom. Oh my gosh, love me some Buxom lip glosses. I have so many and then in addition to the Buxom ones, I've thrown in the, these Bare Essentials, Bare Mineral ones because it's owned by the same company so I feel like it's kind of organized. Then I've got a Stila lip gloss, a Krylon one, some more ones, an Anastasia, and just like some random eclectic ones. So then on the side here I just keep some Tarte lip glosses and then in here majority is the NYX ones. I got all these NYX butter glosses recently. They're seriously amazing. I'm obsessed with them. They're so nice. And then I've got a ton more NYX under here because I love their lip glosses. They're amazing. And then I've got some Revlon Super Lustrous. Love those. Some Juice Beauty ones. Super nice. A lot of Revlon ones actually back here, which is a ton. So I love the Revlon ones too. And then in here is where I keep all my squeezy tube ones. And then on top here, I've just thrown in a lip exfoliator. But I have tons of squeezy tube ones. The Victoria's Secret ones smell amazing amazing. I've got the Benefit ones which are nice because it's like the same pigmentation of their other stuff just in a squeezy tube. I've got a lot of the Benefit dandelion. I've got another lip exfoliant and some of the really yummy smelling ones from Christmas time from Bath and Body Works. So these are all like my squeezy tube lip glosses. Love those. So that's my makeup collection. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed my makeup collection and storage video. I'm going to have everything where I got them as well as links if they're provided in the down bar for all of the storage containers and things like that. I really do love how I have it stored now. It's so handy, it's so much more organized and it's very organized and put together, which I love. So I definitely recommend the Alexa drawers from Ikea. I'm absolutely, absolutely obsessed. If you guys have a makeup collection video, I would love to see it. These are some of my favorite videos to watch, so make sure to leave it as a video response and thumbs up this video if you love makeup. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.